Okay, um, Assalamualaikum and a very good afternoon doctor uh, Today I will explain the flow for my cancer analysis So as we can see here, we, uh, I have four, four analysis which is uh, flow fluid, transient structural, modal and harmonic response So first I will like to explain the fluid flow fluid part first First, uh, the geometry I import from um, from SolidWorks, the beam. I draw from uh, solid uh, the beam by using SolidWorks, and then create the enclosure using space clamp. After I create the enclosure using uh, space clamp, see space space clamp space clamp. That uh, I will generate the mesh, which is here. After I generate the mesh, I just uh, name the parts that need to be generated. This is the outlet symmetry one, the wall symmetry two, the wall, and the solid. After I name the selection, I proceed to the fluid flow analysis, which is this one. So the models I, I use here is for the lamina, which is the viscous lamina, and the material I set up for fluid is the air. For cell uh, cells zone condition, is also I set for uh, enclosure is for air, uh, the fluid one, which is air. After that, I apply the boundary condition where the inlet. Set the inlet uh, velocity inlet for in this case is 10 meter per second. Everything is just left the same since it doesn't need to change anything. After I set the boundary condition, I proceed to the initialization. I choose standard initialization and compute from inlet. After and then I initialize. After I initialize, and then I run the calculation. This is the setting for my calculation. After I run the calculation, and I will open the, the result. And this is uh, the result. So as you can see, the straight line is something like this for 10 meter per second with 90 degree. Yeah. The control is something like this. I done my fluid flow analysis. I proceed with the transient structure. I link, uh, I, I link the geometry for all transient structural model uh, harmonic response. I link all of them since they have the same geometry. For engineering data, I set the necessary engineering data, which is the aluminium alloy. And this is the necessary data for the aluminium alloy. share the geometry uh, I proceed to model to generate mesh for threshold structure so this is the threshold structure uh, to generate mesh after I generate mesh I set the initial condition which is for fluid structure interface which has three phase one two and three fixed support I need to put fixed support because if I don't uh, put any fixed support it will contain error and then I put, I put displacement I put, if I'm not mistaken, I put Z as free, and the other two is constant. After that, I set pressure. This pressure is from this one. Uh, this one. I take the highest pressure control and set it inside the threshold structure, and I set the where the inlets come from. So in this case, uh, the water comes from the inlet and it's from here. And it will touch this, this surface. After that, I just want the solution. This is the total deformation, pressure deformation, total velocity, and equivalent stress. After that, uh, I also apply the same procedure for modal and harmonic response. Except that for harmonic response, is is 
is as I said I take it from from the flip plate and I just apply it to the surface then I just run the simulation and this is the frequency response for the uh, for the harmonic response this procedure I repeated uh, for this 90 degree beam I repeated for uh, three different speed ranges 5 meter per second 10 meter per second and 15 meter per second as you can see here so, uh, it's also applied for, uh, I also apply the same procedure for 60 degree uh, beam uh, I just repeat the same the same procedure for fluid fluid uh, also the same speed which is 5 10 and 15 meter per second so, uh, the difference here is only the Thank you.